Hi folks, Tim here from High End Cheap Tech, and today we're going to do a little review on the uh, Senio 10 watt fast charger or slow charger, depending on what you've got for a phone. Uh, I this was part of the unboxing the other day, and we're going to get right to it. Let's do the intro, and I'll talk all about it. As usual, this portion being shot on the Axon M, still the best budget, bang for the buck phone you can get, check the description below. Cool. Intro time. Hi folks, I'm back. Uh, let's get right to the uh, review of the uh, Senio device here. Came in a you know basic cardboard box, totally wrapped in uh, bowl wrap, pretty secure, and came with an owner's manual. That was pretty helpful. Basically, you need at least a fast charging charge brick. It does come with a. Uh, USB standard to uh, good old uh, micro USB that plugs right in the back here and uh, let's go ahead and get it plugged in over here and we'll talk about it some more I'm gonna plug it in won't take long uh, we underestimate just how inept I am at plugging stuff into ports from far away when they're sitting on the back of the device. Okay, we got it plugged in. It's going to show blue down here until it's live. And it's good to go. Now, I've got it set up because I'm only using the uh, magic tags for my... Uh, charging purposes uh, to uh, use my uh, new mobile G3 charging brick that's plugged into an outlet on the floor um, so all that being said let's get that out of the way we'll do some more talking here and we'll show you some stuff now Today, or the other day, we uh, used the magic tag with this. Now, the magic tag only puts out 5 volts at uh, 1 amp. It's a limitation of it, so there's no reason to put a fast charging brick down there. But today, I took it to work, and I used the Alcatel, which also has... 9 volts at like 1.6 amps charging brick. Uh, so we could test it with something besides the Alcatel. Now, of course, the Alcatel had it plugged in. There's the magic tag. Using up my whole USB port. Oh my god, how can you live? Well, we've got to transfer files. I use uh, air dried and if I uh, need to charge it, I have this. By the time I get home, this thing only has gone down like 80 or 90 percent usually. So let's, let's just set this on here and see what we get. Usually we'll get a green light in pretty short order. And it's blinking and that's because I don't have it just right. It's pretty picky with the... There we go. We're not charging. Through a pretty thick case on a phone that didn't come with a uh, uh, any kind of wireless charging. The most you're going to get out of these magic tags, by the way, and they will be linked in the description below. Please read it. Watch the big arrow. As, oh, yeah, it's a reminder. There you go. Wham. Um, this. Uh,
charger though if you just want to charge you know your phones and you don't have a wireless charging stand and you have a fast charging brick at home but you don't feel like you want to use wireless well today I brought it to work brought the alcohol Alcatel charging brick with me very slick uh, you know puts out the extra amperage and wattage necessary and uh, two of the guys at work have iPhones I thought hey what better thing they have wireless built in set them down instantly went over to charge it's like bam charging it's like turn it sideways boom so when there's a wireless or a Apple i10 iPhone 10 and the other was the Apple uh, 7 and you know they have much bigger built-in uh, coils and can handle faster charging much faster so they worked fine with the Alcatel charged up their phones kept them charged because as we know Apple owners spend their entire lives charging their phones or it seems because apparently they forget if you've got an Apple phone or any phone with wireless charging on the back I highly recommend getting this I know you can plug in a book charger or warp charger a supercharger a hypercharger whatever but if you don't want to do that you just want to get home and throw it on a charger and then when the phone rings or you get a message you just grab it pick it up and then when you're done you set it back down and it's back to charging no cables no wires very handy and that is really all I have I mean there's not a whole lot to say about this it works really good uh, with the Alcatel it does get rather warm uh, for some reason with the iPhones it didn't but uh, both these guys didn't leave it on there very long because they're constantly picking their phones up but it does work with an iPhone I have no doubt it would work with any other phone that already has wireless capabilities if you don't have a wireless charger these are extremely inexpensive check the description below and uh, if you like this video found it useful or helpful in any way I mean there's not much to review here it's a charging stand you set your phone on it it charges you do need a charging brick keep that in mind of some sort if you're using a magic tag all you need is a something that puts out like two amps at five volts and that's enough to charge your cell phone th you know through the magic tag at five volts at one amp uh, because the magic tag that's the maximum it'll put out uh, and that's all I got and this thing works just fine with the iPhones on their side or vertical doesn't matter so I'm in there BAM they're charging and because they've taken the um, fingerprint readers off the back they don't have to worry about the size of the, their charging coil um, most phones are going to work with it though so I'd say it's worth every penny so if you like the video please click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell you'll be notified every time we put on a new video and uh, give us a thumbs up it'd be really cool and uh, or give us a thumbs down leave some feedback in the description below <laughs> below the description there's a comment section leave some comments tell us what you want to see that's all I got for today have a fantastic evening